So, <clears throat> press escape. I'm going to show you something. First things first, scroll down. Go to player movement. You need to put that stop, that S key. Put that on your side mouse button. Now, I don't know what you're using your side mouse button for, but you're using it for this now. Press OK. Walk next to the minion and press the side mouse button. Closer to it. Like, get right up its ass. Like, you're trying to make love to it. Now, when you... When you go to farm, pay attention to the animation of the minions as they're auto-attacking. What's going to happen is you're going to be able to more accurately last hit. Do you see the difference? Uh, no. Well, you should. <laughs> Based on how you were farming, yeah, you should. But try hitting all the CS now. Use your stop command and pay attention to the minion damage instead of just running around like a goober. And you'll stop missing so much farm. Oh. Because the reason why is because you're running around and your spacing is never where you want it to be. So let me explain it like this. You're... Every time you're moving around all willy-nilly like this when you're last hitting... You're making it so you don't have as much control over your auto attacks. Because you could be really close to the minion. You could be really far from the minion. You could be halfway to the minion. You're not controlling any spacing. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is hold A. Your attack range should always look like that. You see how your minion was right on the edge? Right. If the farm is contested by your opponent, you should play at max range. If your farm is uncontested, do whatever it takes to make sure you get the farm. Mix in stop commands, mix in, uh, mix in distances, like get a little closer. Use your stop command so that you stop like missing free farm. Because I literally just watched you miss so much CS that you should have never missed. Now, I usually do the corrupting as well. And uh, let's look at the matchup. Doran. It depends on matchup. Uh, Doran's is probably fine. You're not trading with her. Steven, Jason, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's why you don't own those apps. True. True. As you would, you guys would be like, you guys would be in mid lane running lethal tempo lux because you guys just let the apps do the work for you. <laughs> if you're running <laughs> Halo Blades lux. Well. Ruben, well. thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Keep the tickets and the subs rolling, chat. Where am I out of my... Oh, you better run from that. Yeah, don't go anywhere near that. I brought, my, I brought back my uh, goal prompt. Try to position yourself front to back. I like that you're using the stop command though. And when I mean the back, like behind the minions. There you go. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The stop command and then focus on the actual. Yes, your farm already looks like light oh. years better. But do you see what I'm saying? Right. It looks way better already because you're actually like. You can click around, but you need to stop command and like pay attention before you go to auto. Do you know what I'm saying? Instead of just leaving it to chance. Like you've been doing where you just kind of click and go wherever all the time you're actually doing something proper and thinking about your farming 
because you're just going through the motions imagine uh you shoot a basketball right like you got to focus on your form your follow through all that stuff and when i'm training people on cs this is how i train them because it's the only way i found that works because what happens is you get in this autopilot mode of not paying attention to the to the last hits and that's what causes you to miss them you should stop command don't just push willy-nilly Remember, try to position like more to the rear of the wave as you last hit. But like I said, this is already looking a lot better. And put your body more in the middle of the lane. Like I split the lane in half. We can rotate. You were fine. You were fine to rotate. That was not a bad idea. You were paying attention. All right. Uh, yep. We went back to mid. We go. Good bait. Ah, oh, Graves missed the damage. It's a shame. Let's reset with teleport, probably. Oh, yeah, you just reset with teleport. So, Seraphine build, pretty standard. Uh, she's doing Moonstone these days. You're doing Moonstone, even for mid, yes. Undo that. <clears throat> Just TP or? Mm, I don't know. If, well, you Sorry, can, yeah. you can, you can, you can. It's fine. It's too late now. No, nah, it's too late. We can't go back now. There's no going back. I would have walked up because the wave was shoved under tower. Simon, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it, dude. Remember, front to back. Don't just stand to the side of the wave. There you go. Pay pay attention to your positioning. I don't want you half-assing it. You love standing to the side of the wave. Don't know why. You love it. Get in the middle of the lane. Imagine we're in the military. You're out of formation right now, right? Split the lane in half. Fold, like, imagine you fold a napkin in half. And there's a line. There's a crease. Oh. It's okay. You're already looking way better than you just did, though. There you go and then move front to back along that crease as you farm. You're running side to side, front to back. Forward and backwards. Stop the weird side to side. There you go, yes. This will help with your positioning and make it, you still like to float off to the side for some reason. Front to, on the line. Split the lane in half. There you go. Front to back, on the line. None of this weird fucking floaty ass movement you're doing. You already look better. You're gonna dodge ganks a lot better this way. You're gonna be able to react to things a lot better this way. You're gonna farm more consistently because you're gonna stop being in random positions throughout the lane phase all the time. Stop clicking fucking crooked or I'm going to snap. Front to back. <laughs> front to back. You can do it. Take it seriously because it matters. And whenever you catch yourself doing it, recalibrate yourself so that your farming stays consistent. Your farming won't be as inconsistent because you're doing the same pattern every time. You're not going to just floaty fly around and be in different angles and different positions all the time. 
you gonna roam off? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. I was going to, but I don't know what the hell they're really doing down there. I would hit tower then. Fuck that. Let's hit tower. Dope, Jimmy. Dope, dope, dope. You want me to go help them or what? Mm, you can move. You can move. Wave's in a good spot. We can move. Just don't face tank everything. Because <clears throat> if you do, you're going to get popped. You have to kind of float there. Your farm already looks like night and day better, by the way. At least the early, early stages. Yeah, let's get a big old... Oh, yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, this is a good trade out. At least. I don't know what our team's doing. What our Lux is doing. Careful. Oh, she has no ult. She has no ult. Um, let's reset. Okay. Reset around the corner. Yeah, just back right there. That's good. Yeah. We're going... Uh, you know what item you're going, right? I already told you. Moonstone. You're going Moonstone. It's too OP. Undo. Undo what you bought. Yep. Go Moons. Undo the fucking lost chapter. Don't care. Undo it. There you go. Moonstone. Go. Yep. That. Yep. Go. Yep. Boots. No, you get them for free. Okay, we're good. We're good. Go. Moonstone's getting nerfed next patch, by the way. Just FYI. So you can build normal. But for now, it's too good. You just heal too much. Guys, Moonstone's industry standard right now. You guys better get with the times. You better get with it. Also, you weren't wrong, by the way. I do see some phase rush now that I'm digging around. You weren't wrong. You aren't you aren't that crazy. I would hit tower plates here. Just kind of push her back and try to steal. Okay, we're getting ulted. I think I yeah, keep walking. Yeah, keep on walking, brother. Hell yeah. How much do we need for Moonstone? Which gold? No idea for me. Uh, we have all. They have no ult. Ping on the way. Ping on the way. You want this fight? Ping on the way. Graves. All right, leave, 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 leave. Okay, there you go. There you go. Now you good. All right, let's reset. <clears throat> all right, check your items real quick. Oh, we got it. Nice. Let's go be free, dude. Get on map. All right. You got to buy Staff of Flowing Water next, a.k.a. Staff of Golden Shower. Got it? All right. Oh, chef. Smack on this Tourette, dude. Uh, yeah, let's shove. Maybe we can't. Well, we can't really. We don't have all, but we could definitely uh, get prior here, which is nice and roam around like we're going to do something, even if we don't plan on it. Nice. Yeah. 
Nice, nice, nice. Good poke. Keep it up. Keep shoving. Get right up on the wave. Get right up on the wave. Get the shove on. We're not dying. Nice. Farm is so much better this game. All right, rotate. Back up. We're fine. We don't die. All right, let's reset and get lu uh, Lucidity Boots. If we... Uh, I think Trinomir is fine. We could... Um, we'll go Lucidity Boots and then we'll go Staff Flowing Water. Yep. Yeah, Seraphine is really strong right now, chat, and it's pretty much uh, busted in solo queue. Her ult is too powerful. It's like better Sona. Shove, you need to shove fast, dude. Why we? S yeah. If no one's in our lane, we need to get stuff done. Let's try to take this tower. And he tried to ignite us earlier, so I don't think she could kill us. Back up, though. Back up a bit. I don't want you just standing behind tower here. All right, shove one more wave. Let's try to break tower. Shove, shove. Let's get this. And then rotate and help Trindomir. All right, rotate. Minions got it. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Ping on the way so he knows that you want it. There you go. Can we catch this Morgana walk into mid? You saw her down there. Yeah, yeah. Block her. You know where she's going. Yeah, block her. Fuck with her. It's all right. You have time. All right, let's try to shove mid again. Quick shoving out. She has spell shield, so. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and go towards staff. Go with that or? Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Grab a pink as well. Hard shove. Hit everything with your abilities, not just some. All right, let's inch forward. We don't get one shot, so we're going to play a little cocky here. We might actually get one shot. I don't think so, though. The hard shove. Okay. You're going to ult behind you here in a second. There you go. Nice. Should be a double kill at least. Good. All right. <clears throat> Keep building. Let's sell the uh, mana crystal since we're not getting any value out of it. Just right click it to sell next time. I'd sell the pink. Uh, actually, just hold off. Hold off. Yeah, you can also press P to open the shot. Shop, as chat's pointing out. All right, let's go back to mid. Back to our work.
<laughs> Garber, why are you talking about you're not gonna play champs unless their lore lines up? <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Hard shove, hard shove, hard shove. If we're gonna roam, let's try to get the shove moving and then that way we can actually be aggressive. Now walk aggressively at them and try to force, try to force, try to force, try to force. Force. This is not forcing, this is playing very scared. There you go, like auto and bait stuff. Nice try. That's a good R. Yep. Nice, dude. We got tiny leggies over here. We're pretty big. I don't think we just get one shot, so that's good. Not gonna play champs that are literally lol influencer pop stars. Yeah, honestly, Seraphine's release from a from a marketing perspective is one of the grossest things I think Riot has ever done. You guys, you better leave. Yeah, it's whatever. Mm. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, we can go for that. Let's go. Let's start with a stopwatch, though, so we can do something aggressive. Yeah, and then grab a pink and let's go. So right now your farm is infinitely better than it normally is by this time. Do you notice it? Yeah. Do you see why focusing on fundamentals like that really brings it up? It's because you're basically, you're getting into a rhythm that's, that's uh, repeatable. It's a repeatable thing. It's so what you've been doing before. You've been kind of doing whatever you want. And not thinking about it. Brush up on your before your MMO, folks. Oh boy. Ah, oh, she dodged her all well played. So in that spot though, we probably shouldn't really be handshaking the fight, because look where Graze is. Right. I mean he's gonna get the free like so if you just keep kiting back, even if you if you just live, if you do nothing but live there, that's worth. I'm also glad you didn't stop watch there, because I just don't think you're ever living. Mmm, CDR is more important here, I think. We're not really getting our hands dirty and we still have stopwatch. Yeah, CDR is that.
Look at this guy in chat being a dumbass after I just said why using stopwatch would be bad. Use stopwatch so you can die and lose your stopwatch. Brilliant. This is the type of dude that tell you to flash right before you die. And then you flash and then fucking die anyways. Use flash. Alright, we should drop to our teammates. But yeah, kind of wrap around though. I don't want to get caught in transition by Annie or something. You're fine. She's distracted. You're fine. You're fine. If she's distracted, you, you can change. There's nothing's black and white here. Uh, we're not one-shotting her. I don't know why we're opening with ult. All right, back up. Back up, back up. That was, uh, ill-advised ult. Oh, hello. There would be a good stopwatch time. That one. Yeah, I tried clicking on it. It's okay. That would be the, that would be the time. Hey Johan, did you um did you try to book on the site a coaching or what? What happened? I wanna know. Let's rotate the Baron. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. You got Trinamir. Assist ping it. There's a bunch bottom. Assist ping it. We've got heals, so you and Trinamir and, and Graves can do this pretty easily. Put a pink in the pit. My website is down. Looks up to me. They're not doing any damage to you yet. You have Zonias. Don't panic. You're fine. Oh, let's get a big R off here. Does it not go through? Uh, it doesn't go through if you die. Interesting. Your uh, Zonias there was rushed. So that's something that we've got to clean up. Your level... You had a level lead on uh, Zin Zhao, So you need to think about it. Don't just press it because someone's on you. Like, figure out whether or not it's actually worth using it. Uh, we'll go for the... Uh, let me see. Uh, I gotta give... I gotta get a second opinion on this because I don't play Seraphine. I kind of like the idea of going um, Morello's here, I think. Yeah, let's start with the Oblivion Orb. Yeah, I don't know why it would show you... I don't know why it would say it's down... The site. Our farm is getting worse now. But we started off strong. Just because the lane farming, you were more focused on the positioning. Good. Let's group up with our team. Back up and, and and group up here. Back up. Let's get in order. Let's get organized. All right, Trinomir's dead. So if we make a fight, it better be clean. Better be like a pick, not a full-on fight. All right, Trinomir's almost squared up. 
Play more defensive here. Your team's behind you. Look where your team is. Like, get get in order. There you go. Nice. Good pop. Now, if you want to fight. If you want to fight now, you have Zonias. You have ult. We pretty much have all our ults. The only ult that's missing is Lux. And hers is on a pretty low cooldown. So you can get a 4v4 right now. And be fine. Careful, 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 careful. They have, they have Annie ult and Morgana binds. Oh, well, I guess Morgana's dead. Camille engaged too, though. All right, let's go hit the inhib. So now... You have Zonia's. Whole team's here. Like, we're happy. Now rotate to top side. Rotate and assist ping to top. Get your whole team here and stay in your little formation. There you go. Now you guys can probably end. You have your ult. If you, if you like it, go ahead and open it. Because it ends the game. That's yeah, a good, this is a good timing to, yeah, 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 there you go. That, that can, oh, I guess we just, we're out of range. I think we still win though. Yeah, it's just too many minions. All right. What do Thanks, you think Dad. you, <laughs> what do you think you need to work on before I let you go? Uninstalling the game. Uninstalling the game. Chad, do you think he's uh, that bad? I mean, my farm is absolutely terrible. But you was helping, right? What I was telling you. Yeah, that little stop command, that was, I didn't know about that, that's pretty good. Yeah, the, remember though, nitpick your positioning. Keep it the same. I like to use the free throw comparison with basketball. You ever watch people shoot free throws on like the NBA? They always have the same little rhythm, right? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. All right. Keep the same little movements. Go front to back. This is also important because I said for dodging ganks because what you like to do is you like to float to the sides of waves, right? So anytime that a gank comes, if it comes from the side that you're standing on, you're fucked. Like you're just, you automatically die because of where you're positioning. Right. So if you're doing front to back, now your, your farming is going to be consistent because you're doing the same motions every time. And then you're going to be able to dodge the ganks easier. And you're going to be able to dodge skill shots easier because you're not to the side, like more in the middle of the lane. You're front to back so when you go up to farm you can kind of like walk up and be like oh he's gonna throw a skill shot easy i just do a little sidestep and go right back into position as opposed to what you're doing which is kind of floating around and it's really messy now you're doing something that's more stable and so that's what i want you to hone in on really nitpick it really give a shit because that's what i do right in terms of just like positioning i try to do the same movements the same patterns I don't do this like real floaty side to side stuff. I keep it nice and neat and you'll see it when I play because it's, 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 it's consistent. It's repeatable. I'm all about taking out the guesswork of your movement because if you start doing weird positional, uh, like patterns, I guess you get caught by stuff and then you can't really calibrate pop properly because you're not accounting for like the amount of times that you just wander off to the sides of lanes. All right. All right, I'll uh, work on front to back. Front to back, farm goes up. Farm needs to go up. That's the most important thing. And then from there, uh, you could swap your build on Seraphine. Like if you want to play Seraphine, that's cool. You can swap your build to something else after the next patch. For now though, that's standard, what I showed you. Um, and then it looks like your phase rush is fine. I would go depending, I would go phase rush in matchups where you can't trade and area in matchups you can't trade. So, or that you can trade. Can't trade. Yeah. No, can't trade. I'm dumb. But the idea here is that if, if it's a safer or if it's a lane you need to be safer, phase rush. If it's a lane that you can bully, let's say their jungler's whack, right? And they don't have a good jungler. Uh, something like a Shivana that's not going to really punish you. Um, or just like a lane that's not really going to punish you. Then you could probably just go airy. Understood? Right. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, uh... For being cool and everything. I appreciate you. Appreciate your business. I hope you have a good day. And seriously, the farm, once the farm's cleaned up, you'll climb just off that because you'll have more gold to work with. Yeah.